You guys know who Amaranth is. Well, I'm sure you do. You know, if you're a Twitch user, you've probably heard about her. And if you've been on the internet at all, honestly, you've probably heard about Amaranth. She's most well known for her hot tub streams and her ASMR streams on Twitch where she licks the microphone for like six hours at a time. And the unfortunate fact about that matter is when you do that kind of content as on Twitch, especially as a woman, you're going to attract some crazy creepy people it's kind of just the way of the internet and weird people are obviously looking at that content i mean it's unavoidable and it's just unfortunate because amaranth recently posted a major thread that blew up on twitter talking about how she had to deal with a very crazed stalker so yeah amaranth put up a tweet thread on twitter a couple days ago talking about how she had to deal with this really creepy stalker and honestly he went too far so let's talk about about it. I'm taking a look at my analytics and only like 2% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel. Consider subscribing, it's free and you can always change your mind later. So this apparent stalker of Amaranth came from Istanbul, Europe, it came to her home city in America and so something about this guy already traveling over a continent away just to see Amaranth, you know, that's already a major red flag, you know, but it didn't stop there. He, Amaranth obviously, like a lot of major content creators, has a P.O. box for people to send her stuff and you know what this guy did? He decided to start camping out at a hotel that was in eye view of her P.O. box just hoping she'd show up and he could interact with her oh my gosh that would be so creepy it's like unfortunate part about that is too a lot of people get p.o boxes because if they put down their like home address you know that's the exact same thing that would happen people would come and try to see them and crap like that but even with amaranth's p.o box you know p this creepy stalker guy still managed to do the exact same thing the whole p.o box is supposed to prevent and so he's st and he he got got a hotel room and line of sight there and he would make a trip to the Starbucks right beside the P.O. box every single day for 44 days now oh my gosh that is creepy and you might be wondering well how do we know it was 44 days long that seems like an excessive amount what are you exaggerating no it gets even worse he live streamed his stalking on twitch and thankfully twitch kept banning him but this guy had no problem with making new accounts and another big important part of the story is apparently he sold everything back home in europe you know he sold his car and maybe like a, i'm pretty sure his house and you know so this is the kind of guy who has nothing to go back for and people that have like nothing to lose you know they're dangerous and they're scary and it finally came to a head where when he asked amaranth to come to the p.o box so they could meet and he said and she replied no that would be weird and creepy and he said liar liar fiance on fire or that kind of thing and so this is a good insight on this guy's mentality i mean he literally thinks this random streamer that doesn't even know him on a first name basis is gonna be his wife or fiance or something i mean the unfortunate fact about this is i don't think there's much we can do about people like this on the internet i mean the unfortunate part about this is yes it came to a head when this guy decided to go to her home and after like 20 minutes he decided to start to try to break into amaranth's house and th that's when she called the cops and apparently they weren't very cooperative and it, you know what it's hard to blame them because the laws in place are just silly they can't really do anything to this guy until he does something crazy crazy and it really shouldn't get to that point especially because there's so much evidence that this guy is going to do something terrible thankfully he he's been arrested and I, i'm not sure if he's in you know holding still or what's happening there but more needs to be done about this i mean he's live streaming stalking i mean that's that's has to be a crime i mean how is stalking not a crime and obviously it wasn't a big enough thing with even all this evidence they, might, they were uncooperative to even arrest the guy even though he's you know been stalking amaranth for like 44 days and you know live streaming it there's plenty of evidence it's not like there's an evidence problem where oh well we can't prove that this guy's been stalking you no there's a whole live stream so twitch has it you know probably 
database and they can find all these crazy things this guy's doing and he's still doing it and i don't think it should come to the point where you know he has to try to break into amaranth's house for him to be arrested i mean this is such a creepy thing to do and it's an and it, I, you know my sympathies because you know i i, I kind of understand where you know when amaranth and hot tub streamers make this kind of you know provocative quote-unquote content you view you know you don't know who you're talking to on twitch you don't know anything about them so obviously it draws in a lot of people and in every big crowd of people there's always got to be that one weirdo that takes it too far just like this stalker guy did and you know i'm sure people will want to say well just don't make content like that but the unfortunate fact of the matter is i think it would happen regardless you know to a lot of female streamers i know like there's a like maybe two or three big streamers that don't make this kind of content you know they're not doing hot dub streams they're not licking their mic on um camera they're just existing and doing their own thing online you know they're just existing online and they'd had to experience things like this too i think it's super unfortunate and i don't know what the solution is you know i think obviously laws need to be put in place where you shouldn't be stalking someone and i mean if there's such so much evidence of you doing it like him live streaming for like 44 days straight of him just staring you know waiting to meet amaranth and then trying to break into her house i mean there should obviously be consequences for that i have no idea why there wouldn't be and um i'm i'm happy twitch kept on removing his pages but maybe maybe when he's live streaming you know these crazy events maybe it should be more than just you know blocking or banning his email address that's associated with the twitch account i think maybe he should be ip banned or or device banned so he can't uh stream on his devices anymore i, I think he might have been streaming on his phone i don't exactly know why but even after all these twitch bans you know they kept on banning emails he just makes another one i mean it's super easy to make a new email and make a new twitch account so they should have ip banned him and you know take a, a device ban for him it should have not gotten to the point where he knew where amaranth lived and then tried to break in and the police had to be called i mean it wasn't over a couple days span where you know the police have bigger problems and they can't go into amaranth you know after some guys looking at her p.o box for like a day no it was like over a month and a half and this guy is calling amaranth like his wife and stuff i mean and he sold everything back home i mean i don't know about you guys but if i was a cop or you know part of the police agency i think that's like a perfect recipe for you know someone to get hurt and it would probably happen if no action were taken and then it didn't sound like they did anything about it and then of course he tried to break into her house so of course i mean there's so much warning signs there there was 44 days to do something about it and they just didn't and uh, i think things need to change in that regard because this is crazy and i think amaranth is very lucky that he didn't make it into the house because someone with nothing to lose like him i mean he's stalking and breaking into the house and he owns nothing back home you know he's uh he's a dangerous kind of person and i i just i hate to see this but um let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and i'll see you in the next one